Uh, hey there guys, I just thought I'd just share these, uh, got into building some of these little, little circuits that do, you know, just really, really basic operations. Um, this particular one, I've got a bit of power in at the moment. Uh, this one is a light sensor, and it uses a, uh, a light dependent resistor, a variable resistor. A transistor tucked away in there. Oops. Tucked away down there. Uh, a resistor here to live that goes in uh, to the LED. And basically, the way this is set with this resistor is when it detects light, it switches on. Simple. Not quite sure what I'm going to use that for. This could come in handy in the summertime when it gets really warm first thing in the morning and I could have this little circuit and connect it to maybe a fan just to start having some air you know circulating. That's the best I've got so far with that. I'm not sure what I can do. This one has a lot more benefit to it. This one is the opposite quick demonstration I'll hold this like this turn the lights off the light sensing circuit of course now goes off because there's no more light uh, for that and this dark sensing circuit comes on uh, it's pretty much the same thing with a couple of differences one there's a couple of extra one extra resistor an extra transistor, this has two transistors uh, one just, I think it's emitting to the base of the other or should I say the collector from the one goes to the base of the other um, and then from the collector off through the LED through the resistor to the positive rail and then the emitter comes down to the negative rail uh, and that's controlled with the 10k pop there, potentiometer, uh, and this one is, you know, so just looking for little circuits, so I've actually got another one here, uh, which is a, it's got a lot more LEDs on it, I, this is running from a 555 timer uh, chip, and I put a little transistor on there as well, so I could have more, uh, more of a load, I've not really played around with this to, you know, to get like maybe 100 milliamp or something running off it. I've used BC uh, 548s uh, with the transistors on these and like I say the 555 timer chip but I thought this could come in quite handy for me because uh, where I live um, I've got a staircase going down to my front door and it's pretty dark down there There's the, the light is right down the bottom of the stairs um, and so when I go to go downstairs, if all the lights are off upstairs and it's dark, of course I can't see down there. So I thought a little circuit like this, and I had it running uh, while with the battery, uh, just set it up, you know, in the, uh, the variable resistor there, so it came on and went off with the sensitivity by using this battery. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've actually got like a little tiny, a little tiny board. And I'm going to put this into practice. I'm going to I'm going to build a little circuit on there. I'm going to put an elastic band around this and, and connect it on. Oh, you can't see it. An elastic band uh, around here and connect it on. And I'm going to actually put it down down the bottom of my stairs. I'm going to charge the battery up using my power supply. Um, I've actually got some special charger circuits coming for these. Um, so I can just plug them in USB and it'll charge this and won't let it discharge any further than what it's supposed to to keep it healthy and then I'm going to put it down the bottom of my stairs I'm going to set it up so it actually comes on uh, at night but I'm going to add a little tiny bit extra to it I'm going to add a PIR so it'll only come on when it detects you know somebody there rather than have it just come on at night but if it's not night it won't illuminate the PIR sensor and if it is night time of course it will and uh, yeah 
So that's going to be a little thing that I build, and I'll show you when I've done that. It won't be until I've got these little PR uh, sensors. Uh, yeah, so turn it up again. Lights up. Brilliant. Uh, you know, I'm doing this because, like I say, I'm, I'm sort of brand new to this hobby, um, and I want to build the simplest of circuits and you know work my way up even though you know I started off with the Slayer Exciter and Jacob's Ladder and bits and pieces um, I think these can be more fun in a way because you can do a lot more you can tear it down you know, and build uh, and I'll tell you something else as well what you might want to look out for if you're planning on doing any sort of uh, breadboard socket board type little uh, projects is there are some differences with the socket boards that I'm going to point out because I think it's in really really good you, you see this socket board here it's got the little space between all of them and then in the middle it's got a slightly wider space and what that indicates is that these positive negative rails are split which is brilliant because if you've got different voltage um, little little circuits you can have you know two independent power supplies so you've got four going around the board where on other ones like this one behind it i just move that up slightly like this one behind it this one isn't split so when i put in a positive negative it goes right the way down the route and there's nothing i can do about it um no apart from fizzing again and cutting it or something but these ones are split and i'll tell you what i've got loads of these things one two three four five six seven eight just looking at me and they've all got little circuits on that i've built and i'll probably go through them all i've got a brilliant one that i built the other day which is a three-phase uh sinusoidal signal generator and i get to see the uh three different phases on my on my oscilloscope uh first little kit project not a kit uh first little circuit i actually built just to play around with the scope but never mind um so yeah that's really um handy to know that the ones when you go looking for them when they've got a, a wider split there uh they mean you can separate you can have you know positive negative there independently positive negative here and that you well i find that really really useful i find it really really useful because it i can only put the one circuit on there really um because as soon as I put power in, it's going to power whatever's on there. On here, I can have two individual circuits. These two use the same amount of power, which is great. And I can split that from this and give it a different power. I've actually set it um, that it works with the same power. But um, but you, you have got the option of splitting it. Brilliant. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. I hope you find this. Um, these little circuits, honestly, are really worth making because when you get this great sense of achievement when they work you get to faff around and play around with it and i think you learn a lot more doing stuff like this than uh you know maybe some of the other stuff uh yeah i'll show you what i mean about um the splitting of the rail side of it so i've got the power on now and i've put it on i've just moved these two wires and I've put it onto this side I've just tweaked this because it was set for a different voltage to this. Now they're all the same. Uh, and as you can see, look, my little uh, I'm moving the wrong stuff. Um, so my uh, my my little four LEDs are nice and bright there. It's only um, I think it's limited to 30 milliamp, and it's actually pulling the voltage down to uh, less than five volts now. Um, but they are a lot brighter when I've got it running up at 6 volts and give it sort of like a 80, 100 milliamp. So, and now as you can see, the other side isn't, isn't, isn't on. Uh, we should have the, the dark sensor on. And it's not because I've taken these wires from here, uh, from here, and I've put them across here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put those back. Just to show you that that will go out I'm just gonna pop that in pretty much anywhere on here pop that in and the other little dark sensor comes on now and the light sensor of course sorry about your eyes uh, so if I just leave that on oh, I can turn it off can't I it's not too bad light sorry about the flickering it doesn't flicker inside here it's my LED light 
Uh, and now if I get a couple of jumpers, some sort of colour coordination so I know what's positive and negative. And I'm just going to jump the, uh, the positive side across to this side. I'm going to jump the negative across, across here as well. And voila, we have now both sides on. And it's putting it down even lower, very, very slightly though. Hardly, hardly noticeable. These things take just a, a few milliamps, uh, 30 milliamps at the minute, but we've got four or five LEDs on the go. Uh, and I can, of course, watch your eyes. And then those two, the two outer ones will go off. Um, and that middle one will come on. Brilliant stuff. So, splitting the, uh, splitting here is brilliant. Even though the connections may not be so good. But splitting up is different. Just being able to have that facility is much better than not. You can always bridge it. To have just the full power going down on both sides of the rails um, but not having that option it can be a little bit limiting to having a, the size socket board like this um, and only being able to put really one project on there so anyway cheers watching that one. bye